Hi guys! I've had some requests about plant updates, so I thought I would highlight some of those plants that people have been asking about in the comments. So this one is the String of Hearts, and someone who had watched my video where I showed it blooming asked for an update. And I wanted to show you that it is probably about as tall as I am. I haven't done any more propagating on it, but uh, it's looking really long. Maybe it's time to trim it up a little bit and make another plant. But it's doing very well in this window. And this window is basically bright indirect light. But look guys, it's doing well. It has not bloomed again. It's never bloomed after I showed it initially. So I'm not sure what accounts for that. It might be that I need to give it a blooming fertilizer. I might try that this summer and see what happens. But I'm really pleased. Let me try to turn this to the side a little bit. It's really taking up that whole corner in a very delicate, beautiful way. So I'm pleased to give you a good update on the String of Hearts. I hope you have one of these to enjoy in your home. I really, I really love it. And once you find the right place, it is a fairly easy plant. So that is a fun one. And a very quick update on the string of dolphins. I'm starting out with the string plants, guys. But uh, the dolphins did come back. I had done a video and I was talking about how my pruning had made all of the dolphin growth go away and I was worried that it had reverted to uh, maybe a previous plant along the genealogy because sometimes these things are hybridized but after it got over the shock of my pruning over time and this has been a while guys it did come back to making those dolphin shaped leaves and here are some good examples here. Now that being said, although the dolphins have come back, it's not a great looking plant. I do have it in what I consider to be a partly sunny window. Perhaps it needs more light, but it's just kind of wispy and messy and I don't know, it's not my favorite plant. I hope it doesn't react poorly to my criticism, but it's uh, not one of my uh, top picks for beautiful plants. But that being said, the dolphins came back. So let's consider this one a, su a success story. And it is thriving, it is growing. Here's an update on my Sansevieria cuttings that I took in a video a couple months ago titled Saving My Sansevieria From Myself. And um, if you didn't catch that video, I had overlooked a plant. It was tucked behind some other plants and it hadn't been watered in a very long time due to the oversight. And um, I decided the best course of action would be to take cuttings and try to root them and restart the plant. Um, I felt terrible about it, but let me show you what we have here. Now, these have been inside my house. I brought them out just because I think the light is easier to see. It's easier to see in the light out here. But all of the cuttings, I don't think I've thrown any away, all of the cuttings have sent out some very nice roots. So uh, the next step, oh, I guess maybe this is the beginning of it right here at the very end will be uh, to look out for little plantlets that form. But look, guys, they've all put out roots. So it looks like, oh, and there's a little nub at the end of that cutting. Still very small, but it looks like I may have been able to save my Sansevieria in the form of cuttings. All of them have roots. Some of them look better than others and I'm going to change out the water. So the last three have uh, weaker roots but these, these two here, these three, have really put out nice roots. 
So I would uh, count that as a good update. This, guys, is the result of the atrocious aloe repot. I think this is the best update yet. I may end up removing this. Let me do it right now as we speak. But if you watched my atrocious aloe repot, you would have seen a very long, spindly, dried out plant. But look how gorgeous this is, guys. This bounced back beautifully. So it looks like a couple of the cuttings didn't make it, but the main stem that I cut put out three new babies. This also didn't take out. I'll, I'll just take it out right now. But look at that, guys. One of the cuttings took, this I believe is the top cutting, and um, right there. And then the main stem put out three new babies, and I now have a beautiful plant instead of a tall, spindly plant. So I would say that is a great success story, and I'm happy to share that one with you. That was the atrocious aloe repot. Wow! And here is the patchapodium that was in water therapy for a while. Now, I can't tell if it's any bigger now that I've repotted it up. The stem might be a little bit thicker and um, it, it, it looks more vigorous. I must say, this one for me is a very slow grower. But I would say overall it does look healthier and it's doing well. It's such a cute little plant. I really love it. But so far, the water therapy and the attention it got, the TLC, seems to be keeping it going. And right next door, this was a uh, cuttings repot. And it's looking a little bit leggy, but it's growing. So um, I forgot what these are called. Maybe Cetaveria? Comment down below. It's, it, the name is eluding me at the moment, but all I did was cut some of these uh, stems and then pop them into some soil. And actually, let's look in here. You can even see some of these leaves are growing some babies. So I would say that propagation is looking much better than it was before even though it is kind of hanging, but I like that look. And it's only been a couple weeks on this one, um, the saving a succulent video that I did a couple weeks ago, but uh, I wanted to show you that the Echeveria is still alive, and not only that, several of the leaf cuttings are putting out roots. So this is a very quick turnaround. I can see at least three of them, especially this one in the back. Wow, look at that, guys. That one really took to the soil and the conditions out here. It has been very hot, and I think propagation always does well uh, when there's heat involved. The heat of the summer, good for this type of succulent propagation. So isn't that amazing, guys? We're already turned around here. So, of course, I will keep you updated on that one. And someone was asking me about my mistletoe cactus the other day. And here it is. It stays over on this side of the tunnel. It is prone to mealybug, but uh, regardless of that, it is still thriving. And the new growth on this is so much fun. This is one of my favorite succulents. It is, is so much fun to watch the new growth. Look at that structure. Isn't that neat, guys? There's even a new little patch back here. Such a beautiful plant. Sometimes the growth is really long like this, but it is just done really well. And if any of you saw my video probably two or three years ago, you would have seen a tiny little plant. So I'm happy to say that I've gotten the hang of this one and it's thriving. And despite many uh, battles with mealybugs, it is doing very, very well. At the moment, it doesn't have any. 
but like I said it's so prone to them that I just keep it separate from the rest of the collection so that is a mistletoe cactus update isn't that beautiful guys love that one and I'm going to show you this one as well this was a moon cactus where I removed the dead moon cactus from the top of the base it was a grafted cactus and it was on the base which was a dragon fruit cutting so they often sell moon cactus on dragon fruit and um, sometimes the moon cactus dies so I went ahead and, and removed mine and this is the perfect example guys once I removed the cactus on the top that was dead arms started coming out down on the sides so I would just keep taking the arms off and just placing them down in the soil and now I have this nice little wonky looking dragon fruit plant so this arms getting quite long and they put out air roots sometimes but I would say that that one is doing well and it might be time for me to remove this arm and plunk it down in there I might wait till the soil dries out a little bit to do that but that is an update on that because I think I did a video where I removed the top part of that cactus and I just wanted to let you know that the bottom part is still thriving and propagating so guys thanks so much for tuning in and seeing the plant updates I'm happy to share some of the success stories in all of my nurturing and I hope you're having fun with your plants today and keeping cool. Bye!